What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Effie Ajagba. Effie Ajagba has officially joined the redemption list. That's right. Effie Ajagba has joined the infamous redemption list. He was defeated last year on October 9th. He was on the undercard of Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. And it was a it was a pretty nice buildup between Efe and um, Sanchez. I remember that fight was postponed at one point uh, due to... I don't remember why that fight was postponed. Nonetheless, it did happen. Um... Efe Ajagba was known for his crushing knockouts. He was, you know, boasted after uh, Deontay Wilder. He was mostly compared with that fighter. Tall, rangy, very powerful. I think he actually had more range than Wilder did. You know, um, Wilder might be a little bit more powerful with the right hand, but Efe Ajagba was definitely a guy that was a better finisher. And... He was known, as you guys can see, of just putting guys out, okay? He even had uh, Curtis Harper walk out on him, okay, with the beginning of the bell, which made a historic event in the history of boxing. Now, his defeat and the reason why he is on the redemption list is his defeat, and it was by the hands, of course, of Frank Sanchez. Frank Sanchez beat Effie Ajagba to keep the WBC continental america's heavyweight title after 10 rounds the judges ruled sanchez by unanimous decision sanchez actually dropped him um in that bout uh sanchez outboxed him he showed what that cuban school was about even though they had a lot of back and forth between each other you know, and that was building up the fight. But when Effie came in, he couldn't find Frank a lot of times. He landed some decent shots, but he didn't get the shots that we're known, the classic shots that we're known for, you know, from Effie Ajagba. And it was a, a, a tricky situation, unfortunately, for him. And the problem was he never got... um another decision he never got an, another opportunity to fight frank sanchez and frank has gone on to you know possibly to do bigger and better things meanwhile um effie ajagba hasn't fought since okay so it's one of these inconsistency things i was trying to wait to see what effie did before adding him to the list but i've seen he's not been doing much you know i remember him wanting that particular fight but nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. Um, Frank Sanchez, of course, has moved on. He's he's beaten Christian Hammer, you know, unanimous decision, you know, a hard, sturdy opponent like Christian Hammer, you know, ask Luis Ortiz about that, you know, and it was a decent fight. But Fia Jagba has been what we call stagnant in the sport of, of sport of boxing. And I think you know, he's taken the loss and he could, he did, I don't think he knows how to really handle that loss. My recommendations to get him off that list, um, get that rematch with, uh, Frank Sanchez, but I think it's going to take time for him to figure out. He's going to have to learn no, you know, new boxing fundamentals. I think he may need to change trainers, um, and, you know, work on overall power, cutting the ring off, especially because Frank Sanchez is a mover. He's a mover and he has great footwork. You know, most Cubans do. OK, that's that's one of the first things they learn how to do over there is defense. OK, so with Frank just showing that he was overall faster, just uh, uh, his reflexes were quicker. He wasn't as heavy handed, but his but his punches were nice, crisp and sharp. OK, and it would catch Effie Ajagba off guard because Effie wouldn't, you know, he, he didn't anticipate Frank being that much faster than him. OK, and then if you get hit with a shot that you're not expecting, you know, strange things occur. You know, Effie Ajagba, though, you know, a lot of people now are is calling him, you know, a hype train or, you know, uh, overrated and those type of things. But I think Effie Ajagba is a guy that that needed that. I think he needed that loss. Nonetheless, though, he hasn't done anything from that. So we really haven't seen his career, how, how it can progress. He's only 27 years old. Okay, so he's a young guy. 
okay? And I think that uh, Efe needs to be um, trained again. I think he needs to redeem himself, okay? And he needs that rematch because I think that rematch will definitely haunt him. You know, I've heard the interviews after that that he did feel that he, you know, was very discouraged because he got beat by Frank in that way, especially the buildup. And it's it's a hell of a thing taking a loss. A lot of people can't take a loss like that. So there's a lot of reasons why he's on the redemption list. But nonetheless, he has made that infamous list that infamous list. Of course, you guys tell me what you think about FA Ajagba on the redemption list. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.